Hi guys, this video is about one review of the Kawasaki keyboard. So let's go on. Here I open the battery compartment because I thought inside could be one screw, but it wasn't. So I opened the back and so I could have a look inside. For me it looks a little bit messy. So many ribbon bands and looks a little bit cheap. I cleaned the circuit boards with alcohol, I assembled it and also I cleaned the case from outside. On the back there is one engravement, it says the year 2002 DSi Toys Incorporated. So this is obviously the company who have the rights of this keyboard and it was made in China but the company like always who assembled this is not named here. Also there's a sticker on the back it says Kawasaki the trademark licensed by Kawasaki Motors cooperated in the USA so they say that they are not the producer neither the manufacturer of this keyboard and so all the customer inquiries had to go to the DSi electronic. This is a trademark from DSi and Kawasaki, by the way, is we can see here this in the annual report from 2001 that the license agreement between Kawasaki and DSi went from 2094 until 2002. And here we can see the registered trademarks from DSi Toys. We see here the DSi Electronics, so this is the trademark which I mentioned before. It was um, registered in September of 2000 and expired in the June of 2007. By the way, here on this photo we see what DSi means. You can see here it says Diversified Specialists Incorporated. So this means a DSi based in Houston, Texas. We have here the old address. They had a second address later in the 90s, in the later 90s. Here we can see the satellite photo from the last address. Today there is a Happy Homes. I found some information more about the, the building that is from 1972. On the next photo we see that the office building is already painted in white and Happy Homes obviously uh, rented this or leased it, um, I don't know. About this, it was founded in 1970 and they started like a trading company or resale to drugstores, local warehouses and in the 90s the management changed and they followed another strategy so they changed from a trader also to a developer and they done some license agreement with third party companies or third party inventors and in 1994 they presented the Rossi doll which is very famous and was the most successfully product from them with 70 languages here we can see the rosy spot from back in the time Rosie needs you to hold I'll both of her down. hands so she can sing or you can join hands in a circle and, and, and she'll sing for Pocket everyone Rosie the ring around the rosy doll each doll sold separately here we can see in the way back machine to see how was looking the website from DSI some month later on the 25th of September from 2001 so it's a little bit different also on the back there is one sticker it says important switch to play before use the demo mode is for sales demonstration so let's uh, turn around let's have a look on the front so we have here two parts one middle part and I would say around is the second part the middle part like an oval form is vertical mirrored so here you can see the middle key but on the right side there's one key more of course because from the musical aspect it makes sense to have the C in my opinion there are several pictures uh, for example the gray area it looks like an antlers and uh, the orange buttons on the right it looks like a caterpillar 
and on the left side for me it looks like a flower so maybe it's too much abstract but for me it looks like this so the colors are mirrored they used several times the same color for example white as well the orange and the red you can see more than once and the yellow as well the yellow buttons you can find in different areas of the keyboard so let's go on and uh, let's hear which sounds it has important to say that this keyboard has eight different rhythms for uh, drum sound buttons which we can change for animal sounds the yellow buttons on the left you can change the tempo on the right you can change the volume and the round yellow buttons one is about to record one is about to play back and there are several demos and the fourth button is to continue the demo I think that's all and uh, yes thanks for watching the videos and see you next time